and um, consider it. And um, you just feel that that love when you're there and you feel very, um, just very safe and um, connected. And it's a beautiful, peaceful city. I mean, the uh, everything's so clean. There's a park across the street from our hotel that was probably the most beautiful park I've ever seen in my life. So it's just the overall experience was was fantastic. And playing a couple of games was good for our team. And, you know, we got a good foundation to really get, get camp started from here. So very successful trip. Do you keep up to date as much as possible with all the contract potential talks that are going on in the next few weeks? Do you stay away from it? Or, I mean, yeah. Uh, it's not something I discuss every day with Bob, but if anything is um, going on, he usually kind of just pulls me aside and shares, you know, what's happening. So, um, you know, Bob and I haven't haven't talked about it in, in a week or so. I know usually this stuff, um, as far as Jordan is concerned, it always goes to the last second um, with all these extensions, rookie extensions. So, um, but with, you know, with the other guys, it, um, th those extensions could happen at any time. So there's not a deadline on anything. And um, so I don't pay much attention to it. That's Bob's job. But if, if there's anything that's, that's um, pressing or that comes up, he'll let me know. Hey, see what enticed you guys to bring in Ty Jerome and, you know, how do you view his game? Well, it's a unique opportunity. He's a, he's a big point guard, you know, six legit, six, six, really good passer. Um, I think we were um, interested in a more pass first uh, point guard. Um, you know, letting Mac go was tough. Um, I love Mac and I think he's an NBA player. Um, but I think uh, for our roster, um, we needed more of a, uh, a pass first guy and, uh, Ty is a very intriguing player because of his size and his ability to see over the top of the defense, his pick and roll play. So it's a great opportunity for, for us to get a look at him and for him to uh, play with our guys. You had three, you know, I guess we'll say rookies. I'm looping James into that last year. James obviously didn't play. The other two were very fringe rotation. This season, those three are going to play, and then you have two, all you know, rookies behind them. Um, how does that change the dynamics and, I guess, the player development plan? Like, how different is this season in that respect compared to last season? I guess the biggest difference is, uh, you know, you, we basically have – you know, five or six super young players. Um, last year, we we just had the three. So having having more uh, young players means we've got to be um, efficient in deciding who's going to Santa Cruz and when. Um, you know, what do our off days look like? Uh, we'll probably do more scrimmaging on off days, um, given that we'll have um, you know a lot of lot of young players who. Um, we'll be fighting for playing time in games, um, but it's just, um, it's nothing that different than what we normally do, which is kind of manage the, the roster that we have and do what's best for each individual player. Is, is this season more of a challenge for your veterans than last season? Because there's more young guys, more guys to teach, uh, less auto porters coming off the bench, you know, and, and stuff like that. Yeah, um, it could be, you know, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, I thought last year um, our additions, Otto and, and Belly in particular as vets um, were really key, were really important dynamics for our team. But, um, you know, we added Dante. I consider Dante to be, even though he's a pretty young guy, he's a vet, you know, he's been around, he's been on a championship team. He knows what he's doing. Um, you know, we, this team will take shape as we go, you know, and, and uh, that's kind of what makes coaching fun is, you know, you don't know exactly what you have until a couple months into the season and things tend to uh, become clearer as you go because players, you know, either earn time or, or show and you factor all that stuff in and, and then you, uh, you try to put together a program that um, reflects all that.
Thanks.